with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We are looking at cloud cover for part of the night through the evening hours, the start of the night, and some clearing late. That'll lead into a sunnier day tomorrow and a warmer Friday as well. But uh, sunshine carrying into the weekend, it will be a little bit hotter, not looking terribly muggy, just a little bit more humid. And then a chance for a few scattered thunderstorms with our next front that'll come in Sunday night into the early hours of Monday. Right now, mostly cloudy sky at Lawrence as well as in Emporia. The cloud cover has been rolling in over the late part of the day. Did have a good amount of sunshine early on, but now mostly cloudy in Topeka. Current temperature is 83 degrees. Feels like 83 as the dew point is running on the lower end at 59. Southeast winds at 11, so a pleasant day. A little bit more cloud cover, but still pleasant temperatures with mid 80s. Not feeling any hotter than the mid 80s because of that comfortable level of humidity still running several degrees below average as well. Temperature right now 88 at Junction City. Blue Rapids at 84 at 79 for Hiawatha and McLeod. Again, 83 at Billard Airport in Topeka and 82 at Burlington. Wind out of the southeast at about 6 to 14 miles per hour, even 16 miles per hour right now at Junction City. And with dry air, that breeze kind of just making it feel pleasant out there. Not too much humidity in the air. That'll allow for temperatures to cool back into the 60s again tonight. Comfortable humidity for Friday, getting a little humid Saturday and Sunday, and then comfortable again on Monday. So no blast of high humidity, no heat wave building in. When you put the numbers together, temperature and the dew point, you get the heat index. And tomorrow afternoon, it'll feel like upper 80s and low 90s, and the air temperature will be about there as well. As we head into the weekend, we'll start out in the upper 60s to around 70 and top out in the lower 90s for Saturday and much of the same heading into Sunday. Clouds have been dropping in from the northwest. This little disturbance is that. It's a little disturbance that's already clearing out of central Nebraska. So once it pushes on to the south and east, all of this quiet weather across pretty much all of the northern Rockies and northern plains will be settling over us, giving us a lot of sunshine over the next couple of days. That cloud cover this evening and tonight pushing on to the south and east. We should largely clear out by morning. And then lots of sunshine for Friday. We'll carry that on into the weekend with that slow and steady warming trend out ahead of us for tomorrow and maybe a good day kind of a just good summer day a high of 88 just keep in mind there'll be some decent melting of those ice cream cones tomorrow it will be a warm day as temperatures continue to climb out of the upper 80s into the low 90s by saturday and sunday heat index may climb to the low to mid 90s over the weekend and then a chance for a few scattered thunderstorms with another front pushing in late sunday into early monday now that front doesn't drop temperatures significantly but more importantly, it keeps it from getting much hotter. So we kind of stay in those upper 80s and low 90s into much of next week. And that'll wrap up the month of July and head us into early August on no heat wave pattern, which is a good thing. That was good. Had the one week of really hot weather and you may have heard a lot of uh, talk today. Some of that heat that we had last week crossed the Atlantic and they've set all time record highs. Paris today hit 108 degrees. And they've been taking the brunt wow. of it, uh, but uh, we've and missed the, out. On uh, it. And out west, too, it was a little bit warmer while we were having those cool downs, right. kind of get to the Rockies, and it was still kind of warm the last yeah. few days.